This sort of wiring hardware is new to me, and I had seen one person using this style of connector before this company emailed me asking if I would make a video about their product. I told them I would have to try the product out first, and if it's any good, I would. I will say, this isn't the solution to every wiring job out there, but these are very handy in a lot of situations. At the time of this video, I put them through one of my two big tests for connections, high current and audio quality tests. You may have seen the audio quality test in a previous video, and it did exceptionally well there. If you've ever had a set of headphones with a worn out plug, you know exactly what we're looking for with this test. Audio coming in and out, or that crackle sound as the weak point is moved around. I have a big project coming up where high current will be run through the connector, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. It's going to be a fun one, maybe even the channel's first viral hit. Until then, you can see that I'm putting these through a pull test. Early on, I realized I wasn't putting enough twist on them, so that's my fault. When I do put enough of a twist in the connection, they work as intended, which is to make a soldered, weather-resistant connection with no drippy solder and no forgotten heat shrink. You can add extra heat shrink if you want, but if you're as forgetful as I am, you miss at least one heat shrink during every electrical project, so these give me more memory for things like don't touch the tip of the heat tool, or it's about to rain, get this video done and stop checking your phone. Alright, so this is the one that I tried to record, but it didn't go through, but it's perfectly fine. This is the last one that I did in this size, and I did record, it's good. I had two of these blue gauge ones that pulled apart as I was trying this out again. It does take a little bit of practice, like one or two, to uh, figure out what kind of uh, tie. Like You just need to make sure that the copper strands are tied together strong enough. It's not really an issue with the product. This is a blue gauge one that did really well. This is a red gauge one that did well. And these are from when I was demoing the product before this video. There are, I think all of these, they came apart because I wasn't sure what I was doing. And I did some of these before, yeah, like, like this one, there's a hole in it because I was doing this before I even had a heat gun. Really should have had a heat gun beforehand, but the uh, soldering pencil thing does not do really well with this. I also did some of those tiny white gauge ones on that audio microphone setup in the car, but those are currently being used, so I'm not going to lay them out on this table. They're actually being, like, they're in service, they're doing their job, and the video that I recorded with it, the audio signal came in really clean, so it made a good, solid connection. If you want to get a kit like this for yourself, you can use my discount code STEVE20 to get 20% off, but sometimes they run even better deals, so if you see one of those, go for that. Check the description and pin comment for a link. Thanks for watching Car Simplified.